on the first link i told you we had a guest in studio and you've been you've been following us closely umona posta mahali yep and you know I, I don't even know how to introduce her like she does so many things she she volunteers a lot she does a lot of volunteer work she is a, a creative she's a paintbrush artist she's a i don't know she's so many things but i'm gonna let her introduce herself do miss benny gun is i'm torturing knife what's up how you feeling? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much energy for me in this room right now. <laughs> You're just like, wow. wow. <laughs> no one here right now. Okay, okay. Um, so, uh, my name is Nisi. Yeah. I'm an artist for this moment. I don't know what to start with, but I'm an artist. I'm a paint artist. Uh, we do abstract art. I also. In from Monday to Friday, I'm, an mar I'm a marketer. I go to a nine to five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Then I'm um, on five from five to ten or five to eleven. I'm an artist. Then I also, as she said, I love volunteering much. And yeah, that's basically for today. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Just for today. That's <laughs> it. That covers it for this show. For now. All right. So um, mostly we we are here not as a marketer. You're just here as an artist. So that's gonna do for us. Mm. You did this. Whatever is on my face, she did that. Wow. Uh, you know. And uh, last year at Heavy and the Beast Awards, she yeah. came through for people and she did a lot of makeup for all the guys at their awards. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. So I would like to know how you got into that because I used to we had we we had um what's it called um. A YouTube channel together. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so all of a sudden, she's now this big time uh, paint artist. I don't know how that happened. So tell us about that. Okay. So, so as Philly mentioned, so how I met Philly was through that YouTube channel. But then I just came out as an artist, like I think two years ago, 20, 2020, 2018. Yeah. Yes, 2018 so after school. Then there's this break of. What exactly is going on between school and between getting work, between getting relevant in these streets? So I started going back to my skill. That's art. I used to paint from high school. Even when I met Philin, I used to paint, but I didn't just talk about it. Oh. Mm. Like I used to hide my work. Oh, okay. Then finally, I'll say coming out like an artist. Oh, <laughs> yes, okay. bringing out my stuff. So it's been on for I think two years now. Yeah, two years. This is the second year. Yeah. Then by the time we did having the beast last year. I'd actually did a few gigs for face painting on yeah. those that Nairobi Carnival. Mm -hmm. And then you also had the mental health for last year, I think October 10th. Yes, a series of events before. And that was one of the ones that almost closed my year. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah that was the uh, end of last year. And then 2020 came through. Happened, you guys. Just, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't even know which year it is. Who remembers you guys? But it doesn't matter. No, I also want to know, today you are supposed to have an event, like don't give us the details, but how do you get such a, an event? Because um, you're supposed to hang out with uh, to do Chiki, Chiki Kuruka, right? And those are like um, people, some people can't even meet. So how do you get such gigs? Do they contact you? Are you like selling your work to them? Do you DM them? How does that work? Question. Yeah. So um, about Chiki's event, I don't want to talk about it much because I'm yeah. not there right now yeah. and also because I don't think you really have the right to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, but it's mostly through networking, getting to know these people in different spaces. I met Lilian, I think, 2017 or 18, not sure. Yeah. So Lilian is the manager for Chiki. Mm -hmm. Then, so whenever they have events, she calls me. So it's like more of knowing people. Mm -hmm. You give, like, you know how networking works. Yeah, yeah. Today, you come through for instance, you come through for me. Mm -hmm. I have a gig, I call you through for your skills, you're coming for your skills. And right. when you go there, you meet other people who want you for another gig. They want you for another thing. It's just like one thing opens everything else. Right. But it gets upon when you DM people when you really want something you have to go for it you know sometimes you right. DM them mm -hmm. and ask them if they'd want to they look at your portfolio you get a couple of no's yeah. and maybe one drop of yes that one <laughs> yes that one is dilute all the no's then it's all the no's and then it kind of just makes sense it just picks its own way slowly because I'm just not like face art because I also do abstract art mm -hmm. art for houses or causes art for thematic artworks I think the last exhibition I had was <laughs> I think like two or three months ago, mm -hmm. it was something called Artists Against Hunger. Uh, it was by Sophie, some oh other yeah. artists, and they were trying, were trying to raise money to support children's homes. Because you know how COVID has been for people, um, especially children's homes who, who they survive on charity. Yeah. So having that source of income really gone down. So yeah. artists came together to 
sell their artworks and the percentage goes to the children's home. Oh, nice. That's so cool, by the yeah, way. Yeah, super, super cool. And we have some of your work, I think, on Instagram. So uh, we want to have a look at that as you tell us about it. So yeah. what inspired that? What is that all about? Actually, that piece? If you see this series, there's this series called Nichanue series. I like a six part. I like to sit on the screen. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a it's a whole niche and series. It's like my uh, there's an Afro comp that have this hand. Mm. That was the time for Black Lives Matter and that emoji mm. really meant much about the hashtag. Just uh -huh. coming together for the black man. Okay. Um, being there for our people in that space. So I had this six series, six pieces, and maybe because it was on screen right now, mm. I might probably talk about it. So if you look at it you can see the comp if you look at the whole series you understand the how the comps come through. Yeah. But this one I think the light because like how much the light is on the outside but then it comes back to the inside. Mm. So the whole story behind is how much you can stay yourself close minded. But then because there's a revolution, a whole thing going around, you just can't avoid it. You find mm. yourself sunk mm. deep into the whole revolution. Mm. So it's just about this mm. one is just about like stick for stick to your guns, you know, what you believe in. It All doesn't right. have to make sense right now. It mm. makes sense to many people. It it shines a lot the dark areas as well. Top. And then we have another piece right there. What is that one all about? I the ones that are Man on Instagram, just a random guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I liked that. I saw this is what Dan Safi. Instagram, that's very nice pictures. So I just saw one. He had a very nice colored shirt. Nothing much about it. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's have the next one up so that she can tell us more about her work. Let's see what's here. All right, so let's do this. Um, we're just coming back. In a few, she's gonna be telling us more about the pieces she has. But I feel like we've been talking for a minute. Nisi is still gonna be here. We're gonna go straight to DJ Hugh Skills. Hey, 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 hey. All right, thank you so much for seeing me. That's you watching Rock Tour live right here on Y254 TV. The hashtag is Rock Tour 254. My name is Philin. At Philin Jin across all socials. What DJ right here goes by the name Hughes Curls. And of course, we have a guest in studio. We are talking to her. Her name is Nisi Amala. Now, we're talking about some of your pieces, some yeah. of your work you have right here. You're just telling us about that. So, um, how do you even get inspired? Like, I don't know, different pieces. Like the last photo, before you, this photo looks nothing like the other one. So how do you even get inspired? Like you're like, oh, I like this photo. Maybe I should paint this. How do, how do, how do you do that? It's a good question, yeah. Yeah. So um, most of them come from personal experiences, my whole journey. When I feel like most of my painting comes from an emotional point of view, like what am I feeling right now? And that's why I put it on paint. On paint. That's why if you see that previous series, the one that had the Kichana, mm -hmm. um, it's a whole journey of like my hair <laughs> coming together with that movement. I think everything fit in at the right time. And sometimes it's out of like natural. Like you, when you go out, you see nice pictures. I also like taking photos of random things. And also good photography. Like oh. people take good photos and just like appreciate this person's art. Mm -hmm. Or like good vi music videos. You see like videos that feel like someone really took some time to create like the whole setting, the styling is all on point. They come so inspirational to like creating your next piece of art. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, maybe you can have the next picture, this one right here. Tell it, what is happening here? What's this going on? This is one sweet thing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like candy. <laughs> sweet little thing. It looks like those round candies, hey? Yeah, yeah, This yeah. is your Halloween candy, everyone. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, this one, um, this is this was from the, you see that thing that's put under the cake? I don't know what it's called. When you take cake, and that's a round oh, thing. That oh, like. the one that's usually at the bottom. The one yes. that sits, uh, the cake sits on. Yes. So yeah. we did this is called like it's like some drip art. Mm -hmm. So just trying to put things together see, to just create a cute thing to stick on my wall. Ah. It was from my birthday cake. So I had to remember something. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving myself a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, let's have the next piece and have a look at that one. I don't know, do you have the Can't next Can't wait piece? to be surprised on what comes yeah. up next. Yes. So, uh, okay. uh, <laughs> yes, what you see? I don't know. Mm. So what's, what's going on? Again, you still see the whole thing here. Hey? Oh yeah, at the top. Yes. The then Black Lives Matter. String it down with the pair or it's like a guitar string with the pair. Mm -hmm. And if you can see the feminine bit of it as well. Yeah. So it's a whole combination of different uh, things together to still actively talk about. Black Lives Matter and the role of feminine, feminine people in this space All and right. shouting it out. Okay. And pairs are sweet. Okay. 
I'm telling you, like, creatives are just like so deep. Like, you can't look at something like that and just be like, oh, I know what this one meant. They have to explain it to you. Uh, is that a gas mask or what's happening? Tell us about that. Yes, same one. Same from the series. You still see the Kichana? Yeah. This is the Kichana. And this time, the little pieces are magazine pieces. And um, about this is mostly about being informed before you start before you start being an activist, for example. Yeah. Take some time to read. And um, <laughs> you see here the tech part of it. So last year, I think 2018, did a TEDx talk. And our visual was someone who looked like this. So this time I was thinking so about, so do you want to do another TEDx talk? It was all in our mind. Then I was like, that visual was so pretty. <laughs> but it was at the same time I was doing this Kichana series. And the whole story about this, basically, you know, TED comes about ideas that matter. Yeah. Talk about things that matter. So before you start becoming the face of feminism, the face of children's rights, be informed. So that's because yeah. you're an activist, you have a voice. Yeah, so right. you do your research. Yes. All right, cool. Let's have the next piece up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, those are three pieces, I think, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What's happening? I'm so excited, you guys. Like the first time I've seen these things again. Okay, <laughs> don't you tell me this big one. Yeah. So this one was for an exhibition called um, COVID. Yeah. So it's like telling the stories of, of COVID. Okay. Is this one still up for sale, by the way? So there's a face of a woman. We should have had a clear picture of it. You can check mm -hmm. my pages. I'll upload a clear picture of it. Then mm -hmm. I'll just read back and see what it's about. So if you look at this face, half of it is happy, half of, half of it is sad. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, sure. So at this time, Tuzan was trying to get used to wearing masks, for example. Yeah, and like she's not so wearing her mask properly. She's not wearing her mask. Why? Because she needs to have the mask on. So guys are having their masks on, but they're still not putting it the right way. Yeah. Part of it, I have to put it on to protect my family. Part of it, really, first of all, it beats the whole point of makeup. I can't put this good lipstick and hide it in a mask, but it's okay. <laughs> then the second part of it is just how much like you still have to put even how however hurting it is or hard it is to breathe it in those things you need to put it for your family that you care about and everyone so the beauty of still having your mask on yeah but put it on correctly the mask is down so you can show the emotion oh cool you can check my pages i think i have a clear picture of it there or i yeah. can redo a post specifically for this all right and now maybe you can just do the two of them and then we move on to um the, the okay one. yeah yeah maybe that one it's just a cute thing for a house Oh, <laughs> just, like, just like the color combination. There's no inspiration behind there's it. No, there's nothing like deep about it. <laughs> All okay. right, so um, do you have like a lot of exhibitions or how do you get to sell your art? It's a very good question. Yeah. So as I said initially, my networking is what brings me more of this, most of these things together. Yeah. So um, there are different communities of artists. Some are stand up to studios, some are independent. Where I fall is very independent. First, of course, of my level of commitment. So how I do is I get in touch with people in those exhibition spaces. I pitch. Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they don't. And sometimes you see call for exhibitions, you submit a piece of work, it might say yes. So it's just more of trial and error. But then also referrals really work very, very well. Because mm -hmm. someone buys from you today, the next time you send someone to come to you. Right. For like specific commissioned works that are barely posted. Yeah. Now I think this is going to be the last one we're yeah, going to be sure. talking about uh, for today. Oh, maybe, yeah, that one. Tell us about this. Waves. Da, da, da. This one's Those waves. are waves? Yeah, waves. Mm. You oh. see the blue waves, the, the fire and the, the ice. Oh, basically. fire and ice. And the soft spot where it meets now. Ah. This was still, most of these pieces were actually, if you check my work, I, br I came back to my art space over this from March when COVID started because I was literally stuck in being with myself. I couldn't, like, run away from solitude so being alone yeah yeah yes so this one is over the beauty of it and the war part of it coming all together creating that soft spot for someone to just sit down and introspect by themselves cool mm. and then we have this is the second last one we have the last piece this one ah uh, and police brutality kenya that time they're killing people oh since for what's her name baby yasin Oh, yeah, All these yeah, kids yeah. that the one that in Madari, the yes, one that happened um, in Madari. Yeah. Is it Huruma? This oh, was Huruma. the time that the summer, the, 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 it wasn't necessary. That, yeah. that wasn't necessary. Then we say justice be a shield and defender, but no one is ever going to use that to take care of Kenyans, you know. So why are we going against all this? So the silver lining yeah. is our phones. That's all we had that time. Oh. It made some sense, even yeah. if it didn't mean So, like, you're not fighting literally, but at least we have that war Using happening your voice. On online. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I like that. All right, so um, as we wind up, I mm. want to know like, if anyone wants to purchase any of your pieces, yeah. how do they go about it and how much? What's the highest amount you've <laughs> ever charged and what's the least amount? 
for the sake of my manager, <laughs> I don't quote prices. Yeah. But we always talk. So what you can do, just reach out to me. Which one is my camera? This one. Yeah. Reach out to me on Instagram, nisi underscore amala, or write me an email on nisi at amalat.org. Just write to me and we'll have a conversation. Oh, cool. So I think um, I'll maybe oh, unambi to social media, but you haven't actually told them your socials. So where do they find you? Yes, of course. Um, Instagram mostly, Twitter and Instagram and Twitter. Facebook you can try, but I'm not really active there. <laughs> but I always so check in once in a while. So Instagram and, uh, Instagram and Twitter are all Nisi underscore Amala. Yeah? All right, that sounds, that, that's amazing. So um, last remarks, do you have anything you want to uh, say? Any special shout outs? Maybe inspiration to people who want to be artists uh, like you as well. First of all, stick to the journey. Whatever it is, stick to your vision. Get to know where exactly, where exactly doing what you're doing. Keep on doing it. And then if you feel like you have that small bit of thing in you that you feel is a talent or something that can change someone's life, act on it. There's never the right time to do something, and it's all a journey, okay? Yes. And shout out to who? Of course, my partner, Betty Wanja of Nakshi Glass. This is her art piece. Where is my oh, this? Nice. She does very nice jewelry. She always makes me look cute and gives me opportunities. So I really appreciate you for coming through all the time. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Nisi Amala on instagram and twitter guys make sure you do follow her we're still here the show is still on we have a kevin ties coming up next but mm -hmm. rock to watch is where you find us we're on facebook as y254 so hit us up let us know where you're watching us from and we're going to be sending some love your way mm -hmm. all right now it's time for